Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about the key challenges of software engineering. That means the challenges we are going to face while developing the software product. So let me begin the explanation of key challenges of software engineering. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like and share with your friends. So here, totally there are three challenges you need to address while developing a software product. The first challenge is heterogeneity. Heterogeneity means uh, in today internet is very famous. Internet means uh, two or more different devices can communicate with each other using a network. Heterogeneity means when I say two or more devices, the two or more devices can be of different companies. Even if the devices are of different companies, they need to work without any problem. For example, one system may be of a uh, Dell company, one system may be of Lenovo company. Uh, one system configuration is different, another system configuration is different. For example, uh, one system configuration is 32 GB RAM, one system configuration is 64 GB RAM. Even if this uh, difference are there, even if these different different systems are present in the internet, they need to communicate without any problem. Heterogeneity means different different devices from different different manufacturers or vendors should communicate without any problem right and also one more important thing uh, e even today when you are developing a software not only you have to develop the software for uh, desktop also you have to develop the software for mobile phones your software should run in desktop also your software should run in the mobile phone also that is different different platform e uh, your device should run on different different platforms without any problem it should work on windows also it should work on unix also this is heterogeneity right and one more important thing even if your system is developed in the old programming language you need to integrate that uh, uh, world programming software that is developed in world programming language with the software that you are going to develop now that is new software that means you need to be in a position to integrate both the new software and the old software once you going to once after the integration that uh, your new software is also sh also should new software should wor also work fine and the old software also should work fine without any problem that is heterogeneity getting guys today the our main challenge is to cope up with the heterogeneity right and we have to uh, build a dependable software dependable software means that software is going to work without any problems you can depend on it without any problem even if there is a heterogeneity hope you understood guys heterogeneity means in simple words different different devices of different different companies of different different manufacturers should work properly without any problem so hope you understood what is heterogeneity is if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section so this is the first key issue while developing the software you need to be aware of heterogeneity and the second issue is key challenge is business and social change what is this what is business and social change you need to consider business and social change while developing the software what is this business and society are changing you know that right business ch business requirements are changing incredibly quickly right when new technology is available we have to develop the software for the new technologies right getting guys so today the business is changing very rapidly while developing the software we need to consider these changes business changes society changes we need to consider this because our main uh, end user is the customer customer is always going to use the software i need to uh, develop the software according to the customer needs that's why when the customer need changes rapidly always it will be difficult for us to develop the software according to their needs more number of changes more number of work that's why 
while developing the software you need to be aware of business and society changes and you need to be in a position to change the existing software according to the new requirement yes yeah, yes uh, suppose consider here uh, you developed a software with three feature three features now if you want to add the fourth feature you should be able to do that yes you need to do the changes to the existing software even after doing the changes your software should work without any problem you should be in a position to do that getting guys and one more important thing yes uh, you need to include the changes uh, uh, to the old software if the customer ask yes it's not a problem but the old system made it traditional software engineering techniques are time consuming old techniques are very time consuming and delivery of the new system often take often takes longer time right that's why uh, you need to adopt the new techniques to develop the software getting guys so you need to cope up with this business and social changes even if there are changes you need to be positioned to add the changes to your software and one more important thing your software need to evolve with respect to time that means whatever the changes you are going to do that uh, to the software that is developed the changes need to be done very quickly right you can't give more time you can't take more time right so evolve evolution should be there right you need to deliver the product to the customer as soon as possible time should be reduced you can't take more time getting guys hope you understood the concept business and social change means when you are developing the software you need to be aware of the changes that are going to going to be take place in a society right next security and trust this is very very important challenge here when it, uh, when you are going to develop a software you need to give the security to that software if you don't give that security to that software the people or the customer of that software won't trust that software trusting is very important your customer should trust your software he should trust that uh, this software is uh, going to work without any problem he should trust that software right because today our lives are intervened by the software for each and every task we need a software now our life has become like that for every task we need a software for every task we need a computer for that purpose security and plays a very important role here right security for the software should be very high then only your customer should trust uh, customer will trust the software for example remote software system that means when you are uh, using a software through the internet then you need to be very careful uh, security needs to be very high when you are using a software through the internet because any user can attack your uh, software right that's why security should be high when you are using a software through the internet we have to make sure that hackers hackers means uh, they are going to right uh, they are going to right attack the system attack our software hackers we have to make sure that malicious users cannot attack our software we have to make sure that our software should be protected we should avoid such type of users or hackers security and trust getting guys so these are the three key issues you need to consider while developing any software heterogeneity business and social changes security and trust heterogeneity means different different devices with different different configuration and uh, with different different platforms should work without any problem they should be uh, they should be able to communicate with each other without any problem right next 
so uh, business and social changes means whatever the changes that going to happen in the society right whatever the changes you need to do to the software that should be done without any problem whatever the software you are going to develop that should the software should give high security then only your customer will trust that is security and trust so getting guys so hope you understood the concept please post your doubts in the comment section if you have any doubts thank you thank you for watching the video